everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you're new here, my name is Jess and today I have a super exciting pin tag for you all. So today I am participating in the Mermaid pin tag, which was created by Mouse and Mermaid. She's doing a couple of mermaid themed collaborations for the month of May. Um, so there are a couple that I'm going to be a part of. And this first one is the Mermaid pin tag. Um, Christina from the Disney Adventures of Tina Lou invited me to be a part of this um, pin tag and um, obviously uh, Mouse and Mermaid is hosting and there are so many awesome channels that are participating. Everybody will be linked down below so that you can go and check out their pin tag videos as well. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. There's going to be some awesome pin collections um, shown to you and incredible pins for these questions. So without further ado, we are just going to jump right into this pin tag. It was kind of hard for me to pick some pins for this one. Um, just because there was either like so many that I wanted to use and I wanted to try to not do like all Little Mermaid specific pins um, because some of these questions are a lot more open-ended where you can kind of pick from any of your collections to show um, which is something that I loved about it because as much as I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan and collector and I definitely could have answered all of these questions just off of Little Mermaid pins and a good majority are Little Mermaid uh, themed pins um, it was nice to be able to kind of look into the rest of my collection and pick some pins out of there to show for this tag. So without further ado, let's get into question one of the pin tag, which says it's mermaid. Show us your favorite mermaid pin. So for this one, I did go with a little mermaid pin other than that one Peter Pan uh, mermaid lagoon pin. I don't have any mermaid pins that aren't little mermaid. So my favorite one happens to be this little mermaid windows of magic pin. Uh, I've, I believe I've shown this one before, um, but this one was a gift from my partner and it was probably one of the first limited edition Disney pins I ever received. Um, and it was just such a sweet and thoughtful gift. And I love the stained glass look on it and just Ariel looks absolutely gorgeous. And I love the way her hair is like swirling around her and you have little flounder and Sebastian on the bottom there. And then here is the back with two pin posts, the Mickey waffling and the pin trading logo and the limited edition size, which is 2000. Um, these were pins that were released in 2019 in the parks. So I'm gonna stick the first one onto our little pin board here. Question number two is under the sea, show us a pin relating to the ocean. So for this one, I actually picked a Lilo and Stitch pin. I picked this pin of Stitch on a surfboard um, this is from a Hot Topic mystery box uh, about a year ago, maybe sometime in 2020, I believe this pin was released. Um, there was a whole Stitch Lounge Fly mystery collection, um, and this is where it came from. So you just have Stitch there riding a surfboard and there's a rainbow behind him. And then there is the back, just a sandblasted back. But yeah, I thought that this pin would be really cute because obviously Stitch is surfing on the ocean. And so I just thought that this was a super cute pin that represented the ocean pretty well. It doesn't actually have the ocean or water on it, um, but I thought it still counted. And yeah, I just wanted to show off kind of part of my Stitch collection. Question number three says, in a big blue world, show us a blue pin. So for this one, I did pick another Little Mermaid pin and it is a Disney Studio Store Hollywood pin, one of their open editions. And it is Ariel here in her blue dress. Um, the whole pin's not blue, but again, I thought that it still counted. Um, and I absolutely love Ariel in her blue dress. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to incorporate her into this pin tag somehow um, because this outfit is just absolutely gorgeous. I always loved like the big bow in her hair and the way that just the colors looked on her. And then her hair is obviously gorgeous. So this pin just features her sitting on film reels. And like I said, this is an open edition from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. So you do have those DSSH uh, ice cream cones as the waffling on the back there. And it has the DSSH logo on the back as well. So super adorable pins there. And here are the next two added on to my pin board. Question number four says, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Show us a pin from your collection with a neat feature. So for this uh, pin, I did again choose another Little Mermaid pin. A lot of these are Little Mermaid pins, but I did change it up a little bit here and there. Um, so this one is the cereal box pin from last year's um, limited edition collection. So it says thingamabobs 
And then the cool thing about this pin is that it has both a little dangle element of the little fork or dingle hopper hanging off of the bottom of the box here. So you have that. And then this is also a hinge pin. And then on the inside you have a little game and then the little serial screen printed in there. Um, so I thought that this was a very neat pin with some very neat features. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorites in my Little Mermaid collection. And this one was limited edition of 4,000 from the Disney parks. And there it is added to the pin board. Question number five says, fish are friends, not food. Show us a pin of an underwater friend. So for this one, I had to choose Flounder because he is Ariel's little sidekick and best friend. And I absolutely adore Flounder. I have like a million plushies of him, including like a huge one that sits in my bed with me. So I absolutely had to include Flounder. Um, and this is from a recent Loungefly mystery box set where it was like the sidekicks with flowers. So here he is with all kinds of little like hibiscus flowers and different kind of undersea uh, like flowers and stuff. So I absolutely love this pin. It's such vibrant colors and it's just absolutely beautiful. And we love Flounder. He's definitely my favorite undersea friend. <laughs> and so here is Flounder added to the board now. Question number six says, mermaid hair, don't care. Show us a pin that is hair goals. And for this pin, I chose another Ariel pin. Ariel's hair has always been hair goals to me out of like all the Disney princesses, even the more recent ones. I absolutely loved her hair. I wanted to have red hair like this when I was a child because of Ariel. And I also for years tried to get my hair to do like the swoopy thing that her bangs do, especially when I was in my scene kid phase. Um, and I could just never nail it. So her hair is just like magical and just unattainable goals forever and ever. Um, so I chose this pin of Ariel because I loved the way that like she's under the water and so the hair is like floating around her. Um, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And then this was from a Disney store uh, pin set. It was like a five pin set, I believe, for the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid two years ago. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this pin. And then you can see on the back the Disney store logo and the pin trading logo and everything. And it does have The Little Mermaid 30th um, logo stamped onto it as well. And so this was a limited release set as well. So it does say limited release on the back. So there she is added to the rest of the pins. And then question seven says, what would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? And it says, show us a beach pin. So for this pin, I chose another stitch pin and it is this adorable little pin of Stitch trying to build a sandcastle on the beach. This is probably one of my favorite scenes of Lilo and Stitch um, where he tries to build a sandcastle. And then I think it gets like destroyed and then he just kind of like bunches it up like that and sticks the um, leaf in it or like, Lilo builds a really nice one and he builds like this. I don't remember exactly how the scene goes, but I absolutely love it. It's so cute. The little pose that stitches in here, they use it so often for different pins and art and things like that. Um, so I thought this was absolutely adorable and definitely represents how I spend my days at the beach trying and failing to build sandcastles um, and just like laying with my toes in the sand is absolutely what I do. So I thought this pin was perfect. And then this is another one that comes from a Loungefly mystery box set. I believe this set was from 2020 as well. So there it is, a stitch added on there. Question eight says, I'll think of a mermaid lagoon underneath a magic moon. Show us a pin that is magical. And so for this one, I picked an Alice in Wonderland pin that you have possibly not seen yet because I don't think I've posted this mystery unboxing. So this is gonna be a spoiler alert for a future uh, mystery unboxing that I'm going to post. But it is from the Alice in Wonderland um, mystery box set at Loungefly for the 70th anniversary. And it is this lenticular pin of Alice painting the roses red. This is one of my absolute favorite scenes in Alice in Wonderland. I love the little song that they sing about painting the roses red. Um, and I just love the ridiculousness of it. Like we accidentally painted white roses. So now we're gonna go over and paint them all red. Um, and I just love lenticular pins. I think that they're so fun. And so the fact that like this changes and goes from red from white to red is absolutely adorable and magical. So I thought this pin was perfect to choose for this uh, prompt. So there we have Alice added. And then question nine says, who's it's and what's it's galore? Show us your favorite set or series of pins. And so for this one, I'm actually gonna stick them all onto the board um, so that I can kind of show them off a little bit better. Okay, so the set that I chose for prompt number nine is the um, Star Wars 
Her Universe collaboration that was designed by the artist Karen Hallian. Um, this is easily one of my most cherished sets of pins that I have. Um, it features all of the, or some of the very prominent women of Star Wars. So you have Ahsoka there and it says Survivor. You have Rey and it says Independent, Leia and it says Trailblazer, and then um, Padme and it says Leader. So it's each of the characters with a word that kind of describes them and who they are and what they stand for as characters in the Star Wars universe. And so I absolutely love this because growing up, the women of Star Wars were kind of who I looked up to um, and they were my role models. I remember I had shirts with Padme on them and like just absolutely adored um, all of the women of Star Wars and just really looked up to them. So when this pin set released, I absolutely knew that I needed to get my hands on it. Um, so this is absolutely hands down my favorite set or series of pins. Um, and just one that is so special and means so much to me. So I definitely had to pick this one for this prompt. There are so many like mystery pin collections or things like that, that I could have shown. Um, but I decided to go with these because they do hold such a special place, but there are a whole lot of really cool, um, pin sets that I've been lucky enough to complete over the years as well. And then question 10, the final question in this pin tag is make waves, show us your biggest pin. So for this prompt, I picked two pins because they're both like about the same size. I think I don't know which one is the bigger pin. Um, and I really love them both and I wanted to show them both off. So I decided to pick two different pins. So the first one we are going to show is the mini main attraction um, pin. So this released in January of 2020 um, at the beginning of the mini main attraction series. And so it was this pin and then there was a doll that accompanied it of Minnie Mouse in this Main Street USA themed dress. Um, and so this was limited edition of 1000 and it was like $70. It's a, it's a jumbo pin. Um, and it is just an absolutely gorgeous pin. Let me take it out of the box so that the glare doesn't, doesn't get in the way. So here is the pin. So it is this beautiful drawing of Minnie Mouse. I love the art style and how she just looks so like, I don't know, like it's just a very pretty stylized version of Minnie Mouse. And then she is in this gorgeous dress with Main Street USA printed along the bottom of it. And it is red, white, and blue. And then there is glitter details in the bow on her hat and the belt on her dress. And then behind her, you have um, the Main Street Cinema and some other like buildings on Main Street USA. And then the really cool thing about this pin, so it does have four pin posts. You can see here, one, two, three, four. One of them is kind of bent. This pin has fallen off of where I've tried to put it a couple of times. It's a little bit banged up, which is kind of unfortunate, but the front of it still looks totally fine. Um, but the really cool thing is that since this is pin on pin, mini comes off from the buildings and then the curtains here on the main street cinema are like felted which is super cool so there is just like extra awesome details behind the mini pin um and i love that you can take her off and then kind of like you could display them kind of individually if you wanted to um but i like the way that they look together as well so i just kind of keep them like that and in the box but yeah this is definitely one of my biggest pins and one of my favorite pins in my collection, honestly. I think it's just really beautiful. And then the next pin that I have to show for this prompt and the last pin that I will be showing for this pin tag is my Aristocats 50th anniversary pin. Um, this one I ordered off of Shop Disney. It released last year for the Aristocats 50th anniversary in 2020 and it features the everybody wants to be a cat scene um, in the attic. And I absolutely love this pin. It is another uh, jumbo pin from Shop Disney. Um, and it is another LE 1000, no, it's LE 2000. I'm sorry, not LE 1000. Um, but I love everything about this pin. I love the little like psychedelic packaging and this movie did come out in 1970. Um, and the attic scene is a very like psychedelic kind of a thing, especially when like all the different colored lights are flashing, which is exactly what this pin is representing. And so you just have all of these scat cats there. And then you have Marie Toulouse and Berlioz. And Marie is kind of dancing along, enjoying the music. Toulouse is kind of looking around, like so fascinated by what they're doing. And Berlioz looks kind of suspicious and angry, <laughs> but they are super adorable. And then you have Scat Cat and the Alley Cats just rocking out. And then you have the beautiful piano, which is like marbled pink. And then this is another pin on pin. So some of the cats are a pin on pin element down here. 
So yeah, those are probably my two biggest pins of my collection and definitely two of my favorite ones. So I'm super excited that I got to show those off for this pin tag. I believe I showed off the mini main attraction one way at the beginning of last year, but it's been a while since I've talked about it, even though it always sits in the back of my videos. Um, but yeah, so it was nice to kind of bring that out again and show it off. So that is all for the mermaid pin tag. Here is another quick close up look of all of the pins that I chose on the pin board. Lots of Little Mermaid and Stitch here, um, but we did switch it up a little bit, but those just happen to work so perfectly for um, the themes and the questions in this pin tag because they're both movies with a lot of blue related things and a lot of underwater and ocean things to them. So yeah, it definitely fit. So I think I'm going to tag Jake from Jake's Disney Afternoon to do this tag and I am also going to tag Hmm. Ashlyn and Deshaun from Rushing to Disney as well to do this pin tag. And then why not we'll throw a third in there. I'm going to tag Fran from Fantastic Pins because I know she is a huge Little Mermaid fan as well. Um, so yeah, those three channels, Jake from Jake's Disney Afternoon, Ashlyn and Deshaun at Rushing to Disney, and Fran at Fantastic Pins, you are all tagged to do this mermaid pin tag. I would love to see what pins from your collections you are able to come up with for these questions. Um, and honestly, I tag anybody who is watching this video and has a channel or has an Instagram or whatever and wants to do this tag. Um, or you can just leave what pins you would choose in the comments down below as well. Um, I would love to hear what pins you guys would have chosen for these questions. You can also leave a comment down below with which pin that I chose was your favorite. Um, I definitely, I mean, all of them are my favorite pins, but I would be really curious to see which one maybe you thought fit the prompt the best, or if there was one that you thought like really didn't fit, or if there was a pin that you absolutely loved loved and maybe didn't know about before but now are like oh my gosh I need that pin um so definitely let me know down below and if you like this video as always please give it a huge thumbs up that really helps me out so so much and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon as always I hope that you guys are having a magical week I hope you are having a magical mer may I will see you later this month with another video um in this mermaid series that mouse and mermaid is hosting um so definitely stay tuned for that you're gonna get a little bit of a look at one of my collections so definitely stay tuned um and i hope you're having a magical week and i will see you all in the next one bye everyone